Hands up anybody that remembers Gex the Gecko. Yes, probably very, very few of you. Well, Gex was a thing. There was a trilogy of games that was released on the PlayStation 1, and there was a fourth game attempted for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube, but was cancelled due to lack of interest from IDOS Interactive. Now, this game series was developed by Crystal Dynamics, the same guys that are now doing the Tomb Raider games, and it was published by everyone, apparently. It was published by Crave Entertainment, IDOS Interactive, Midway Games, Sony Interactive, and Square Enix. Like... Huh? <laughs> like, seriously. And this uh, the first Gex game was even released on the 3DO. Does anybody remember that? Jesus. And the first game released in 1995 and is a side-scroller, largely inspired by American TV and pop culture. And it features Gex being pulled into a TV world and then you just go on through all these mock-ups of different TV and uh, movie levels essentially. Now Gex is pretty cool, you could tail whip people, you can use your tongue to grab things, you could jump and use your tail as a spring to smash through things, you could even climb at walls, obviously being a gecko so he could stick to things. The game did not have a save game feature, it had just a password system of course because it's a very early PlayStation game and Basically, the first game, you just run through 24 levels contained in five different TV channels, and there are boss stages, and it's, to be honest, it's, it's a pretty competent side-scroller. I'll be honest, it's not terrible, but Gex is pretty cool in the first game. Unfortunately, and I will, I will repeat this later on, sometimes he does not shut up. And it is a bit of a problem. <laughs> but uh, he was intended to become a, a, like, a new mascot for PlayStation, of course, because they didn't really know what they had. Of course, Nintendo had Mario, Sega had Sonic, and PlayStation kind of had a toss-up between Crash Bandicoot, Lara Croft, and um, there was Gex, and there was a couple of other people as well. But unfortunately, I don't think Gex was all that amazingly popular with a lot of people. But then you fast forward uh, three years, and then we had Gex Enter the Gecko. And Gex Enter the Gecko took it up to a 3D platform game with the ability to be able to save. Once This one was developed by Crystal Dynamics, and it was published by PlayStation, like Crystal Dynamics, Midway, GT Interactive, Ubisoft even. And it there was a version of the game released on Sony PlayStation, N64, Game Boy Color, and PC. Now... The N64 version had a bonus level, which I always hate, based on the Titanic. But here, like essentially like this level in particular that I'm showing you is obviously based on Looney Tunes, which is pretty cool. Now unfortunately, with these earlier uh, 3D platformer running the rain games, the, the camera can be a bit of an asshole, and it is basically. And and the controls aren't super responsive. He once again gets to like tail whip and tail bounce and whatnot and do like a for flying for uh, karate kick. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Flying karate kick. There we go, that's better. <laughs> and you can you can't climb every wall, but you can climb certain walls and, and all that kind of stuff. Now it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, like I said, Gex doesn't shut up. And although for the time it was received mostly positive and, you know, the, 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 like I said, they were, the camera is crap. The graphics are, is very low polygon and not up to scratch with a lot of other games, especially in this genre for the PlayStation. But, I mean, it's not, it was not a terrible game, of course. And then a year later, we had Gex Deep Cover Gecko. And now this one was obviously more inspired by James Bond, where he goes off and tries to rescue some woman, basically. Now, this one, once again, developed by Crystal Dynamics, published by IDOS Interactive and Crave Entertainment, and this one was released once again on PlayStation N64 and Game Boy Color, and it was received more with mixed reviews. This one isn't... This is the... I think that this isn't as good as the previous one, and... Unfortunately, it just kind of is more of the same, and you go around collecting the bugs like you do in the other games. You go, you know, you have you go and tail whipping people using your tongue. It's just unfortunate, really, that they didn't try to, to take it even further. There are some pretty cool levels, and although it was received sort of like it had favorable reviews, I suppose, but just not enough to really spark the interest for Gex 4 and 
I mean, talk about deep cover, and then Gex just essentially just died. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Gex does have his fans. I was not... I mean, I played them. I, know, I think I borrowed this uh, Gex Deep Cover Gecko off of a friend back in the day, and I played it, and playing it once again, now capturing footage for it. I had a, you know, I, I enjoyed running around and jumping on things, but um, with Gex 3, they did utilize new technology to be able to allow for bigger levels and more on screen characters and different textures and etc. And they did retool the camera system, which is great. Still a bit wanky, but it's to be expected with an older game. But I, unfortunately, I can see why Gex fell off as the kids say it's just it's just meh it's just one of those game series really it, there's a lot out there that does it better and that's that's it really but please let me know in the comments down below what you think have you played any of the gex games like i said there is enjoyment to be had i did like them if you're a video game collector please go nuts i'm fairly certain they're not going to be super expensive but you can always have the backup copies and yeah i i just think it, it, they are good games but they're not great games or amazing games, really. Unfortunately, a lot of things are looked at through nostalgia goggles. I made a video on Siphon Filter um, a, a week or so ago, and I don't think they've aged very well. Of course, that angered some of the hardcore fans of it, and like I said, if you think, if you love those games, please love those games. I am not saying in any way that if you like something that I dislike or criticize does not make you wrong. It just means that me personally, I will just say what I like and what I dislike. I'm not I'm not throwing shade or hate out there, people. I'm just trying to give out my opinion into the internet, which I know is a dicey game anyway. But that's it. That's all I'm doing. But please let me know in the comments down below if you've checked them out. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Keep your watch on at all times so I can call you. Meanwhile, get me out of here. I need you. You and every other beautiful government agent trapped in a TV set. I'm on my way. Schlemiel, Schlemazel! Hey, that tingles! Rez, get ready for the ultimate gecko weapon, baby! Yeah!